Black screen when alt tab or exiting full screen games in Windows 10. When I use alt tab on a full screen game to go back to the desktop in Windows 10, most of the time the screen goes black. It doesn't happen all the time which is makes this even more confusing. It also turns black sometimes after exiting the game. I have a single monitor and an Nvidia graphics card. Some things I found about this. I can press alt tab again and it comes back to the game. I can press windows p2 or 3 times and enter to blindly try to switch to multiple monitors set up. Doing two or three times gets me back to the desktop. I can unplug and plug again the HDMI cable and it gets me back to the desktop. It also happens if I try to press Alt Enter to get the game to go to windowed mode. It has happened to me in the games Overwatch, Destiny 2, Dragon Age Origins and the Final Fantasy XV demo, so I'm pretty sure it's a general error when going full screen. Here is some research I've done for similar problems. This thread in Steam forums talk about something similar in several games on Windows 7 due to the monitor set to 59Hz by default. I checked and mine is set to 60Hz. This thread in Nvidia forums talk about this problem in GTA and they solve it by renaming the executable to something other than GTA SAR X. This I haven't tried since I opened the games from the Steam Blizzard launches. Is there a way to solve this? Update. Here are the things I've tried and haven't worked. Updating Nvidia drivers. Switching refresh rate to 59Hz. Edit 2018-1218. It's been a long time since I asked this question. Both Windows 10 and Nvidia drivers had several updates since then and now I don't have this problem anymore. But I did use full screen windowed mode when available until I found the problem fixed itself so I'll mark that as the answer. Question from user Solak at Gaming at Stack Exchange. Answer. You can fix this by running the game in full screen windowed mode, instead of running it in full screen. The difference here is that you might lose out a tiny bit on high graphic games. When a game runs in full screen, it occupies the whole of graphic card power, leaving none to the host OS, while in full screen windowed mode, the game loses out a bit on the exclusive mode graphical interface. Starting a full screen windowed game. Download full screenizer from here. Extract and run full screenizer. Run your game in a window. If your game runs in a regular window or you can run it in a window, go to step 4. If your game runs in full screen mode, try going to the game settings and then try changing the window type to windowed mode. If it is not possible to do this, then try Control alt tel and open Task Manager. This should minimize the game. In the full screenizer, click Refresh. Click on your game and click on Full Screenize. Note that this is not likely to work. Try the other solution given if this doesn't work. In the full screenizer, click Refresh. Click on your game and click on Full Screenize. Another solution is not to fix the Alt tab but instead to use a different solution. Using Windows 10. Doing this on Windows 10 is easier than on Windows 7 8 XP, since Windows 10 has this feature built in. First you must create a new desktop. Create a new desktop. You can do this using the Control Win D or you can also click the three window icon on the desktop and then click New Desktop C Picture. Make sure you can switch between desktops. Press Control. Win an arrow key to switch desktops. E. G. Control win left or control win right. Running your application note. You will probably make a new desktop on each startup. Run your game in desktop 1. Press control win right to switch to desktop 2. Using OS that is XP or above. Since Windows XP 788. One don't have this function built in. You will have to use the Microsoft's Eternals Desktops program to achieve this. Go to this website and use the given program to create virtual desktops. Answer from user Lumine at Gaming at Stack Exchange.